Valentine's Day flowers, you had them. They probably cost a fortune. Right. It's always so expensive on Valentine's Day, but you want to keep them for a long time. Hi. Shirley Bob, Bob Shaw is here with us, and she says you can if you wax them. Yes, you yeah. can wax nostalgic right now. <laughs> now do you know, I never heard of this. Uh, yeah. I know, it's the coolest, it's like an old fashioned art that's kind of resurfacing right now. And what, what it is, is it's coating your fresh flowers with paraffin or soy wax. And if you keep them in a cool room, because you know, wax melts. Right. Uh -huh. It could keep up to maybe four months, and it's got a real cool. Wow, that cute is look. beautiful. Isn't that beautiful. So that is a, that one right there is wax. I have a yeah, new that photographic is wax. subject. That is. I know I love. everything. That is. Wax. Isn't that beautiful? And the best oh plants and the best flowers that that are waxed are those that are already kind of waxy, mm -hmm. like you know a rose here, uh, which I'm going to show you how to okay. do. And also we've got lilies. Oh, how and the beautiful. orchid does really great because it's got a nice waxy flower. So you're going to show us how to wax on? Yes. And wax off. And wax. Does it change no wax the off, color at all? On. No, it doesn't. But I guess if yeah, you were asking earlier if you could change the color maybe with yeah, colored wax. Yeah, maybe. I didn't know oh, if you could. Creative. Good idea. Yeah. Didn't okay. Think of that. What you need is get a, head of, uh, get a hold of a kit or just shaved wax. You can get it at the crap store. Mm -hmm. Candy thermometer because you want to make sure that this is heated. This isn't a double broiler. Um, between 130 and 150. Not more than 150, you'll start cooking your plants. Oh boy. Under 130, it won't really take. Okay. So we've got this. So we've and got a so, 20 degree range. Okay. Yes, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our nicely this cut rose and we're gonna put it in and then just kind of make sure that it's dipped all the way through. And then when you bring it up, what you wanna do is of course you want it to drip. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of hang out with it on one side there, because it kind of opens it up a little is bit. Is there a certain point when, when it, the flower's too far gone to do this? Or can you do this? Yeah, you know what? That's a good question. Only select good looking flowers because yeah. if they have, you know, something like a mar or a okay. scar, yeah. it's what? going to show up. How about a lily? So okay, don't wait for them to be like completely dead. Yeah, no, they, okay. they should be fresh and pretty. How do you keep it that. from getting that waxy film? Because wax will also create a film. Well, you know what? If you have film, which I did get some, it's because I did not let it drip long enough mm. and it so kind of collects. It. Yes, and make sure it's not in a warm room. It should be in a cool room. So, uh, yeah, you could do this in a. In Just like that. Yeah. Oh, nice. Look I at mean, that. but I've got wow, all Wow, it really brought I've out got, the color. Look at it that. Really Absolutely beautiful. That is really gorgeous. And that's, it's going to dry like wow. that. How long is that going to take? Well, it's going to dry within 30 minutes, but do it in a cool room. Don't do it in anywhere. But don't stick it in warm. the fridge. You don't want a fast No, freeze. that's too much. That's too much. Because that will get the, the yeah, film on it. That will get the it. film on it. But okay. you know, if you want to preserve, uh, I want you guys to try this, but I want you guys to use your dehydrators. If you have dehydrators, some of you are really into drying meats and making your own fruit rolls. You could use this also for drying your flowers for crafting. Take a look at how gorgeous this is. Where would one get a dehydrating oh machine my goodness. if they you don't have one at home? You can get these everywhere. You can get really? them online at the okay. store from $30 up, but okay. what's really important is that the setting below, this one has one, it's the Excalibur, I put mm -hmm. it on 100, and then I just cut off the heads, and it was about three or four hours. It's got a nice okay. little fan in here, and this is beautiful. so beautiful. After after the rose parade, I took I, I gathered some That's flowers right. to right. keep for keepsake, but I put them in a book. That's the only thing I knew how to do. Right. But now this is with so this, cooler. you can dry yeah, them look, out. You can, you can get a full head. And one of the uh, products I recommend here, it's just a dried flower preservative. Uh -huh. Mark, you've got your hand on it. That's uh -huh. so beautiful because sometimes when you dry your flowers, they kind of shatter. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. break. So this gives it a nice little pliability, and it's wow. really really great. Yeah. Same I use it on same. You no, know, my the, the flowers on my dad's casket that I photographed. Yeah. Yeah. I still have those, but. It's, it's too far gone. They're broken apart. I didn't, I was like, oh. This is such a great way to keep it those. It is such a you know, wonderful, that's wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. I wish I'd known about this waxing thing years ago. Well, you know, you've got to keep your sentimental flowers together.